Here Grand Island is celebrating a truly noteworthy accomplishment, pun intended, after the summer concert series took home a statewide award this week. Local 4's Casey Mance joins us now from our Grand Island newsroom with how the Railside area there in Grand Island is reacting to the news. Casey? Spencer, here. Me out. Over seven years ago, downtown Grand Island started to host summer concerts on Friday nights. That was in 2016, and now in 2023, those involved are celebrating their recognition on a statewide level. That award is for the most outstanding tourism event in a city with a population of 10,000 or more. Through the seven years of growth, the concert has gotten to an average of more than 3,200 people attending each Friday night. And that attendance also helps benefit businesses in the Railside District, especially big Red Treats, which is right across the street from the concert venue. Owner Julie Wright says this award is one the entire downtown is excited for. I feel like this community always cheers each other on. That's one of my favorite things about being a business owner here in Grand Island. And so as one organization company wins an award, it's just a catalyst for more good things to go on. And so here Grand Island was a perfect example of that. But it really does um, build momentum for the whole downtown. Series goes past just their Grand Island customers, bringing out of town concert goers who might have who the business might not have reached otherwise. Wright also says they see an average of around 600 customers each Friday, or that's about three customers every minute. Spencer, that's that's a lot of ice cream. But I'm going to hand the mic back to you in Hastings. Maybe sing us a song. All right, Casey, all the puns. You got to love it on a Friday. Let's chat weather now. John Walsh joining us. And John, if you can keep the weather like this all winter, maybe we could give you some kind of tourism award. What do uh, you think? Yeah, and then the next day it gets whisked away as the weather changes here in Nebraska.